millions of Americans have them hidden out of sight underneath their skin. Implantable devices meant to fix what ails them. But these devices can present problems when it comes to getting an MRI. The MRI machine itself is a very, very strong magnet, very unique environment. And whenever you're placing anything that's metal, or especially anything that ha that's electronic into this environment, you have to make sure um, that it's safe. For the most part, bone pins, artificial joints, and titanium hips are made of non-magnetic material. Teeth crowns and dentures are also safe. Other implants may prevent a patient from getting this form of diagnostic test. Like a nerve stimulator or a pacemaker. Um, the other big one are um, endovascular stents, coronary artery stents, stents in the pa a patient's um, aorta. Over the past few decades, magnets have quadrupled in power and more scans are being performed than ever before. MRIs can detect dozens of serious ailments such as tumor and stroke without radiation. Time has brought advances in technology so that many newer devices are MRI friendly. This modality is very similar to a pacemaker maker for pain. The use of spinal cord stimulators to zap chronic pain is on the upswing. These devices were off limits for magnetic imaging until now. And we were sometimes forced to remove these devices, obtain an MRI, and re-implant them. Now with some of the new modalities, we can allow people to obtain an MRI down the road without any risk. MRI-friendly pacemakers are also available now, and other devices are considered MRI conditional. We have to make sure that the scanner that we're going to scan that patient on meets all of those conditions. As many as 70 percent of patients with an implanted device will need an MRI in the future, so it's important to understand the options and play it safe. For Lee Memorial Health System, I'm Amy Osher.